First on four, a funeral dispute leaves the body of a loved one in limbo tonight. Patricia Vela Benya died last Friday from cancer at the age of 44. She was supposed to be buried today at Heavenly Grace Memorial Park in La Feria, but her estranged husband won't sign the paperwork to proceed with funeral arrangements there. Yeah, and the funeral industry calls this a rare case with a lesson for everyone in this call for action. Heavenly Grace Memorial Park in La Feria is where funeral services should have already taken place for Patricia Vela Pena, who died Friday, September 7th. Instead, the 44-year-old cancer victim's body remains unburied, her family unable to properly say goodbye to the one they love. We want closure. We need closure. The funeral home has been paid in full to the tune of nearly $6,000. What's missing is a key signature from the spouse to release the body. Out of spite to hurt the family, but he's not, you know, he's is hurting the family. Patricia's family says she's been estranged from her husband, Roman Pena, since around the time of her cancer diagnosis last May. The former Marine and Gulf War veteran allegedly suffers from mental problems and is accused of abusing Patricia toward the end of their brief marriage. Their allegations, Roman denies. She was my first and I was her first in everything. In holding hands, kissing. He wants his late wife buried at a veteran cemetery in Mission for when he eventually passes away. They don't want me to be buried next to her. That's their problem. I don't know why or what. Patricia's niece, Marta Ortega, explains why. His yeah, legal, right, his legal right, right is to bury her where he wants her, and he wanted um, the veterans memorial in Mission. And, but he didn't have the money. We had already paid for everything. When it comes to final preparations, experts say it's almost always the spouse that gets the final say. It was back in July when Heavenly Grace Memorial Park workers first informed the family that without a divorce decree, it would be the husband in this case that would get the final say. HGMP's Vice President Bert Keyes feels terrible. The funeral home can't put Patricia to rest in the manner she deserves. They're simply following the law, he says says his advice please go out take the time when you're 50 60 years old to make these plans so they're not something that will jump up and really surprise you Patricia's family thought a living will would be enough but the paperwork didn't meet the legal requirements to supersede a spouse we want people to know get your paperwork in order do your arrangement so you don't go through what we're going through it's a battle over burial where nobody wins now, family from out of town will hold a private rosary at Patricia's parents' home before they have to leave. The funeral home is doing everything it can to help facilitate a quick resolution. They say the body can be held for more than a month. Yeah, as for Roman, he agreed over the phone with me to sign the paperwork only if the family will allow him to attend services and be buried next to her when he dies. Tell me what you think about this funeral feud. There are lots of ways to comment on Facebook or Twitter. Just search Ryan Wolf. I'd love to hear from you.